going on guys? Spain Man back in here with another video. Duke Nukem movie and the works from Cobra Kai creator Legendary. And this is good news to me. Because if they do the same type of work that they did with Cobra Kai, and Cobra Kai is a uh a, a prime example of how you bring a franchise back. So if they can make a good movie with Duke Nukem, then I'll woke it up and put all the weirdo nonsense in it and all that. And it might be a happening movie. So let's check out a little bit of this article. Duke Nukem, the 1990s video game that helped popularize the first-person shooter genre is getting the feature film treatment. Legendary Entertainment, the company behind Doom and the Godzilla Monster series, has picked up the movie rights from Gearbox with Cobra Kai creators Josh Held, John Hurwitz, and Hayden Schlossberg on board to produce. Legendary will also produce as well will Jean Julian Barnett Assassin's Creed of Marla Studios which specialize in video game ad adaptations Held her Held Hurtwitz and Schlossberg are producing via their banner Counterbalance Entertainment Launched with a self-titled debut in 1991 from Apogee Software, later called 3D Realms, Nukem is a 1 billion video game franchise that began life as a platform game for personal computers. When the third game, Nuke, Duke Nukem 3D, came out in 1996, it became not only a critical hit, but the one that helped Ush usher in the it says, who be e ubiquity, probably saying it wrong, ubiquity of first person games for years to come. After laying low for years and stalled development, the franchise came back in 2011 after Gearbox acquired 3D Realms with Duke Nukem Forever. Nukem centers around a titular hero modern model after certain attributes from 1980s act movies action movie heroes including catchphrases who fights an alien invasion in los angeles he travels from strip clubs yeah <laughs> and movie sets to moon bases and spaceships dealing with mutated LAPD officers, women, and alien incubators, and the cycloid em emperor. The search for a writer to tackle the material is underway, and while no director is on board, the door is open for one of counterbalance of the counterbalance team to potentially sit behind the camera. With its over-the-top action movie stylings, it's no surprise that Hollywood has been trying to adapt the game into a feature for quite a while. Various indie producers have attempted to develop Nukem, but none got very far. Gearbox had a Nukem project in development at Paramount with John Cena attached to star over four years ago, but that stalled out. That led Gearbox to become more deliberate in its Hollywood strategy for adaptation of its video games, and it now has one already on deck. Borderlands directed by Eli Roth and featuring an all-star cast including Kate Blanchett and Kevin Hart. Lionsgate is behind the movie, which is expected to be released later in 2022. Let's see if 
that shit. The Counterbalance Trio made a name for themselves in the franchise Kami Spears held pen the Hot Tub Time Machine franchise for MGM while Hurwitz and Schlossberg first wrote and later took over directing the Harold and Kumar comedy. They reimagined the Karate Kid for a new generation with Cobra Kai, a runaway hit for Netflix that also garnered numerous Emmy nominations, held Hurwitz and Schlossberg are the creators, executive producers, and showrunners of the series, writing and directing many of the episodes. So, again, if they put the same effort that they did with Cobra Kai and no woke messaging in it, they just make a good movie. could be pretty good a lot of times video game movies don't do well because they stray too far from the source material and uh, I'd say cheapness and most of the time it's just a cheap uh, I'd say a cash grab they're not really they don't care about it and that's what makes it suck and, I, and I've, I've often said, as a business person, even if you personally do not like it, I would think you'd want it to be the best that it could be so you can make as much money as you can rather than, oh, what the heck, just, just throw this out here and uh, we'll make a couple quick dollars. Why well, make uh, $90 million when you can make uh, a billion? You know, that's how I look at it. But anyways, guys, let me know what you think. Drop a comment below, like, share, subscribe. And I'll see you chomps in the next video. Peace.